Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps. I'm going to share with you today iMac. I have a hard disk failure. I'm going to share with you how we can fix the hard drive. Since I'm opening the computer, I'm going to share with you you can uh, how you replace your memory or you can upgrade your memory as well if you have a faulty DVD-ROM, how you can do that. And I'm going to share you with the step by step in easy steps let's get started first thing uh, I'm going to power it off before you work on any computer make sure that you plug the power cord out so I'm going to show you in order to work on a iMac you need to lay down on a flat surface you put something down here underneath so you can lift that one up now we have a one two three four screws which needs uh, it's a torque driver it's a T7 and then we need a regular screwdriver Philip to open these two this is for memory so I'm going to open all these screws so we open four screws save it and then the regular screwdriver once we open this, these screws don't come off, they stay in there, this plate comes out, that's for the memory. Now, important thing, that we need to open these, if you need to replace the memory. Open the latch, once you open the latch, both of them, it releases the memory from slot, then you can pull the memory out. Now, how are we going to do it, we're going to put our hand here and we're going to press this thing down I'm going to pry this one out now I'm going to move this one away and I need to push this one down okay this is how you do it once you force it a little bit it opens up once it's open we can uh, put this one on the other side of it so it can bring our Mac to the same height now once you pull this one up you just need to force it a little bit but you have to use a very delicate hand you don't want to force it too much and it has a tape up here you just need to pull it and the tape is sticky so you just basically need to pull it out so once I take it out then I'll share with you once we pulled out uh, the panel the top cover off now we need to remove this tape we can reuse this one again you can pry out uh, with uh, some straight screwdriver or with your nail so we can pull this one off now this one has the tape all the way up here and also on the same side on this one you can peel this tape off again and then reuse it again but if you want it uh, if you have a new one you're going to use a new one just cut it off so what I did I just cut it off from this end to this end now you need to use uh, some kind of uh, you know tool or a straight a screwdriver if you have a straight screwdriver there is a tape on this side if you put your screw and you just basically take that tape off once you all this has it taken out now you need to use a T8 that's the torque driver there are one screw here one here one here that's the body screw and one on this end 
So once you open all these four screws, you need to use, like I said, T8. You pull that screw out. So these are the screws you need to remove. Once it's removed, now all the tape has been removed from here on the side, on the sides. I'm going to take uh, the cable off. This is the monitor, the LCD cable. This one has two screws. We're going to use the T6, uh, it's a torque screws. So we're going to use the T6 torque driver. So it's a small screws. Make sure you don't lose them. These are two small screws. Once the screws are removed, you pull this one up and it lifts up. So it comes out. Now, we're going to lift this one up, the LCD. You need to unplug. And the same thing on the other side, there are two of them. So I'm going to take that one out. So basically you pull this one out. So once these are out, I can grab my LCD. So this is how the computer looks inside. These are the fans. If there is a DVD faulty, you can remove one of these screws. You can pull one on this side on the bracket. You can pull this one out and replace it. If you have a speaker problem, you can fix it here. Then the memory is right here, which I showed you. If you pull the levers out, the memory you will release the memory. You can pull it out. You can upgrade your memory. This is the way we remove our LCD connector off. And uh, as for the wireless, it's right here. You can, um, if wireless has a problem, you can change that. Now I got a hard drive problem. So this one uh, requires a T8 a torque uh, screwdriver. We need to remove these two screws from here. Then this one uh, hard drive has a sensor which connects right here. We need to unplug that and then as for uh, the SATA cable and the power on the hard drive is right here. You, once we pull this one out we are going to remove it and uh, this is the hard drive. I had a 400 gig hard drive but it died on me. So um, one more thing I did, uh, I plugged everything back and I tried to start it to feel and I put my hand up here, the hard drive don't move anything so it's totally dead. So I'm, now I'm going to replace it. What I'm going to do, I'll put the hard drive back again. And as for the button up, I'm going to do it again. This tape, you can use it again. You can press uh, with the screwdriver or some kind of a scribe. You can uh, press against it. And I'm going to put the two tape on the sides, new one. And similar scenario this tape the one we opened here that's I'm going to reuse it again and I'm going to put back my connectors here and this is the connector I was uh, I shown to you but the other one you didn't see because they are hidden so there are two connector goes in here LCD connector two on this side and once I'm done with this one I'm going to share with you after replacing my hard drive, I button up everything as I have mentioned to you that make sure that you have a tape up there, that one need to be sealed, the one in the front, you put the screws back and put the LCD cable and then there are two cables on this end, two on this end. So then you put the four screws and the two screws for memory. So it's all, everything is in perfect order, now it's a, a time to Put the operating system back but one thing i wanted to share with you that uh, you go to disk digitality you make the partition z u i d partitions and uh, then uh, you can install your uh, operating system now i'm in a process of uh, installing leopard and then uh, my imac will be running fine i really appreciate each one of you joining and uh, i hope uh, uh, it helps you out if uh, it does indeed help you, and uh, please give me like and uh, subscribe, and uh, I would appreciate it. And I'm going to see you soon with the new things. Best of all, easy steps. Thank you very much. Bye bye.